Well, Sunday afternoon, February 20th, starting at the same point I began at two weeks ago, it's about 1.30, and there are some major differences between today and two weeks ago. Not only is it partly sunny rather than completely sunny today, over there on the hills east of San Jose is snow. And the high predicted for today is only 48 degrees. I mean 54 degrees, sorry. <laughs> It's about 48 right now. Looking to the east, it doesn't look like it's going to rain today, but in some other parts of the sky, it looks like it could. And I've said in the last page that had a video on it, I hope to cut back on the video time on my site because creating the videos takes a whole evening each one and uh, creating the pages of course takes some time too for just a continuation of the video I have to think of something to actually write about to fill the page out and have to look for jokes and uh, inspiring thoughts to put on so I'm going to try to take less video today and probably walk faster as a part of it. And of course today I'm going in that direction, the opposite direction of the previous time. I'm going in the one that looks like it could become rainy. And if it does rain, I'll just turn back because I don't have either an umbrella or a raincoat with me. But it probably won't rain and I see snow on the western hills over there too. This is the Stevens Creek Trail we're going to check out today. I'm now getting a side view of the campus of whatever that was or is. There's no sign on it so it's probably not any one company at all anymore. I'm still guessing that it's mostly real estate for rent because these buses are still parking here and uh, this bus that's closest to the picture is being washed right now by two workmen. I bought it from the shop that helped me out a lot. Well, this presumably is Stevens Creek. Moffett Field just beyond there no longer military, but a lot of research and uh, government-sponsored work goes on there still. NASA. There might have been seasonal flooding this past week as it rained just about every day and yesterday it rained almost all day steadily. I figured the most interesting video on this trail would be Moffett Field up close. Never been this close to it before, but the closer you get the thicker the trees become along the bank of the creek. So I might not see much, and there might not be much to see. Ames, NASA Ames Research Center on that building in the blue portion. Thank <laughs> you. 
this appears to be a little amphitheater, probably for tour groups. Street comes all the way back to here. Burgers might be some of the groups that use this little amphitheater. Haven't seen fountains like this on trails before. Nice touch. Just a little ways up the trail from that little amphitheater is this waterfall, man-made waterfall, with rapids. Wouldn't want to be in a kayak going over that more audible than visual. It makes a lot of noise, in other words. And it's not all that pretty. Well, this may be the Moffat Boulevard underpass that was referred to on a previous sign. It doesn't identify it here. I have no idea what that means. Well, it looks like quite a raging river here going under that street. It would appear that I've walked two miles. I'll probably try to get another one in. And then this hike will end up being even longer than last week's, which was well over five. Well, maybe that wasn't Moffat Boulevard that we went under already, since it appears that we're coming to an underpass here with that name attached to it. I'm going to try the high road, but uh, may have to come back. Well, it would appear that the high trail was the right choice. And that must be Moffat Boulevard down there. And I'm guessing that that wall is 101. But I could be wrong. Could be an exit off 101. I've walked another quarter mile. Well, having said that the higher trail probably was the right choice, it looks like either one would, would have taken me to the same point. Because that's probably the lower one coming back. And I'm guessing it's underpassed Moffat. I'll try it on the way back if I'm not too dead. Now this is just where the trails meet again. Another bridge over the creek, and this is Wisman Park. just flying by. Just saw another sign saying trail users announce yourself. And I think what that means is bicyclists should speak out before they pass someone. I've had several on other trails say, on your left, please. No one on this trail has done that. <laughs> 
I think that's what it refers to. Well, if you've always been wondering how to find Easy Street, right there it is. Just over the bridge, cross over the bridge. I will continue till I see a three mile marker, but I must be getting pretty close to that now. And the trail itself is now crossing the creek. Up to now all the bridges have been side entrances to the trail, but this is the trail itself. Once more, a choice of a higher or a lower. Well, it turned out that the lower choice there was just a ramp leading up to this overpass. So it's longer, but it's navigable by bicycle, so that's why it was provided. This bird's like the one over Moffat. It's bouncing as runners run across it. If it's California, there must be a freeway. Looks like there are two of them right here. Well, no, that's an expressway because it has an intersection. But the upper one is probably 101 again, as I've been saying. And this is Central Expressway which is an old shortcut between Palo Alto and San Jose. And I can't believe I haven't gone at least a half mile since the last marker. Maybe I missed it by taking the high road. Dana and Mercy should record that so I know where to Come back. This kind of hints <laughs> without actually telling us that the trail crosses the creek again here. There is a map there, so I better be prudent and check it out. Whoops, I walked a whole mile since the previous marker was noted. So I'll try to pick up the trail some other time from Yuba.